In today's video, we're going to be telling you how you can get your very first sponsor. We've been fortunate enough to have some amazing sponsors that have now allowed us to do wakeboarding as our full-time careers. And of course, we have done a lot of traveling with these sponsors and been to some amazing places. Isn't that right, Ryan? Get in there, take yours in. Looks like it's a small one for you, Ezra. Oh, let's see what's in mine, because it's got our names on it. So, we just got all of our Mystic stuff arrived, which is why we're doing this video today. So make sure that you guys watch till the end. It's gonna be an epic one, filled with loads of tips on how to get sponsored. And of course, guys, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. It really does help grow the channel and let other people see what we're getting up to over here. So if you can just click on that subscribe button below, that would massively help us. All right, well, let's get underway. How to get your first sponsor. So our first tip is don't just wakeboard for sponsors, do it because you enjoy it and have fun doing it. The reason we wakeboard even still to this day is because we love what we do and we love being out on the water and riding. And if you're going to be wakeboarding just to get the sponsors and just to do it for your job then you're probably not going to stick at it for very long. So our second tip is any time that you're at any cable park or contest or just having fun down at your local lake, we would recommend talking to as many people as possible. This way, people are gonna to get to know who you are, see your personality, and they can also see you riding on the water. You never know who you might be talking to, so always talk to as many people as possible. Don't be the guy that stands on the edge telling everyone what you can do. Go out there, do your riding, let everyone be impressed by what you can do on the water, and then come in and talk to people and, uh, yeah, let your riding do the talking, I'd say. Tip number three from us is, what are you worth to a brand? When you get to the level where you wanna be getting paid by sponsors or even getting a good deal with sponsors, you need to think, what is your worth to that brand? To the sponsor, it's not always about how amazing you are as a rider, but actually, what can you bring to that brand, how you can make them money, and how you can sell more of what they're trying to do. Show to them what you can offer them, what you can do, and in return for that, see what they can do for you. So you could be the best wakeboarder in the world, but nobody knows who you are. Why would a brand sponsor you? So keep that in mind, what are you worth to a brand? Tip number four is be active on social media. If you guys follow me and Liam on Instagram, you'll see that we're always out doing posts, stories, uploading to YouTube, Facebook, all sorts and different types of platforms. Again, this ties in with the marketing and being worth something to a brand. People are always clicking onto Instagram, scrolling through their feed. The more that you're in people's faces, the more that you're gonna get noticed. Tip number five is be nice. I think we've learned this a lot through growing up with some of the guys that we've been in wakeboarding with and a lot of our role models that we grew up with have always been some of the nicest guys in wakeboarding even to this day and I think that goes a long way in the sports industry. It's very rare in wakeboarding but every now and again you'll come across the people that maybe have been a dick in the past or something and you definitely don't forget that so if you're out there helping others then People are gonna remember that. People are gonna be like, oh, that was that guy that helped me down at the lake the other day. And then they're gonna push your name more. So that is tip number five from us. Tip number six is creating a name for yourself. When me and Liam were growing up in wakeboarding, it was majority competition based that we rode in. So we would travel out to the Europeans and Worlds, which were IWWF competitions, but that was a perfect way for us to meet a lot of riders of our same age and older riders as well. Yeah, another thing to this is get to as many different cable parks as you can. Go and meet the local riders there, meet the Groms that will be riding there and show them what you can do and help them as well. The more you can get around the different places, even if it's just in your country, then the more it builds up your name and the more people get to see you ride. So number seven is something that we had to kind of learn the hard way, 
but is that sponsors will rarely actually approach you. So unless you're maybe one of the top, top riders, I think it's still pretty rare that you will get one of your main sponsors come to you. So for us, we start on a slightly lower tier with the shop or distributor sponsorship through Water Sports World. Massive shout out to those guys. And then we worked our way up through that, getting onto the main teams for Mystic and Ronix, obviously being international now. Even at the level we're at now, we still rarely have sponsors actually come to us. So it's often down to you to go out, email the sponsors or meet them face to face if they're at competitions, show them who you are and show them what you can offer. So these are just a few tips that we've got off the top of our heads and of course this is just from our experience but these are what we would say would be best for you guys to follow and will hopefully help you in this. Thank you guys for watching today. Remember to smash that subscribe button for us and join our crew. And a little extra note as well, Ryan and I have set up a Patreon account so you guys can support our work, what we're doing over here. And with that help, we'll be able to do some crazy things this summer if we can get out of the house, of course. But yes, we're gonna get you guys involved, do some giveaways, discounts, and that is all in the description below. But for now, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.